today we're going to be making our first beast mode chips on our Heller CP6000. At the end of this video, we're going to take the most beast mode cut you've ever seen. All systems go. This is a 12 inch diameter piece of 1045 steel and it's coming in at right around 700 pounds. We're sticking up 18 inches above our chuck. Now while we're turning all the rust and scale off of our part, we're using our fix aid insert and this is using about 550 foot pounds of torque. Now this tool is capable of taking a 400 thousandths depth of cut. But if we do that, we're going to be using about 1800 foot pounds of torque. And I'm not using claw jaws on this chuck, so I want to be safe. And so next we're going to come in with our core six end mill. I'm a mill guy, so all of this lathe stuff is kind of foreign to me. But I feel pretty good about this setup. We have our new shunk chuck in, we've got gravity working in our favor. It's not like a normal lathe where we're hanging out in space, so it's more like a VTL. Heller machines are the workhorse of the automotive industry. When you go to huge factories like Packard, Caterpillar, Detroit Diesel, Cummins, you'll find Heller machines stacked in rows and rows. These companies use Heller because they can't compromise on reliability. They need machines that are gonna run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now this machine isn't just a five axis mill. It also has turning capability. This table can spin at over 700 RPM and we have over 1,900 foot-pounds of torque available on that axis. As we're spiraling down our part with the Core 6 end mill, we're actually getting a better material removal rate than we were with our fixate turning insert. Now we're running this end mill in a surface footage of 1300 and a feed rate of 300 inches a minute. But I feel like this isn't a beast mode enough cut for this machine. So let's come in with our Harvey 1T. <laughs> time for us to start getting aggressive. We're going to come in with this tool at a full axial depth at a 90% step over at 30 inches a minute. Our material removal rate is going to be 54 cubic inches per minute. Now for both of these cuts that we're doing with these end mills, we're only using up about 50 foot pounds of torque compared to the 500 that we were using while turning. Yes, blue chips of greatness! If you're running a ton of super alloy, steel, stainless, it's titanium, this is the machine that you want in your shop. It has tons of torque available, super high accuracy, it's got great chip evacuation. I mean, you can see how many chips we're making right now, and this machine isn't skipping a beat. Oh man, check this out. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Oh, you gotta love the chips, you gotta love the chips. Ooh, you hear them? That's so nice right there. They're like blue and black chips. And uh, in manufacturing, in CNC machining, you'll be known by the size of your chips and uh, the color of the chips, of course, depending on the material. But we got amazing chips. The blazer barrel's absolutely full and the chips are coming on the ground. And one thing I wanna say is MRR, material removal rate, is one of the most important things in CNC machining. How fast and efficient can you literally murder the material and leave it in chips. That's the name of the game. I'm excited because now we're actually cutting metal on the CP6000 and it is a great honor for myself and my team to bring this footage to you guys. This isn't about just making videos. This is about teaching automation, teaching how to design pallets, how to take wasted setup time out of the equation so you can actually make money. We're gonna be bringing an automation cell here and we're literally gonna teach you step by step how to fixture all these different types of parts, how to program them to the pallet and how one person can actually run this machine 24 seven, even while he's sleeping and chilling with his family because these machines are built to go. And if you have these machines, you don't have to be in China. You don't have to be in other countries. You can be right here in the US or right here wherever you are and make your own parts, put food on your own tables. Heller is in the house. Barry, keep getting it, brother. Boom. Heller, it's 
all about what's underneath the sheet metal that counts. We have this huge casting that's capable of moving over 2,500 inches a minute in cut, and it's capable of moving at 3,500 inches a minute in wrapping. Now this machine is super versatile. You can do huge parts that are like four feet in diameter, or you can do a whole bunch of small parts, which is why we have a tombstone mounted on our second pallet. Another thing that Heller excels at is process automation. I've been in plants that have a huge gantry hooked up to like 50 of these machines, and it just takes a part from one machine to the next to the next. They also have pallet pools available. So for our HF 5500, we're gonna be getting a huge rotary pallet pool, and we're gonna be able to show you guys how to automate your processes. I've worked with pretty much every control out there now. I've worked with Mazak, Fanuc, Heidenhain, and this Siemens control is hands down my favorite control. This control is super intuitive, it's super user friendly, it's easy to use, everything's exactly where I would expect to find it. It has all kinds of apps in it like calculators, uh, PDF readers. I can go in and just copy and paste the program in a matter of two seconds. There's none of this long wait time that we're used to with Fanuc. It's just amazing all around. Oh, Barry, <laughs> that was awesome, that was awesome. One thing I want to mention is like, this is not a small spindle. This is an HSK 100 with a monster Harvey TE in it. And that 90% radial was crazy. That was pretty sick. Non-stop. It's like, we've done full slot, but by having it right here and have this thing just turning and you're just dropping and dropping and dropping, it is a continuous cut and it handled it no problem. Of course, in the real world, you guys are going to be using coolant, but it's awesome that we could actually do it dry oh, yeah. and show it off for the camera. Yep, super sick. Super sick. So what is your takeaway from this uh, whole experience right there? Man, it's an awesome machine. This thing is beast mode. It didn't have any hang-ups. It got rid of all the chips real nice. Man, I'm super impressed. The chips are in the back all over the floor because it couldn't handle it. You know what I mean? <laughs> the barrel Love couldn't it. handle it. They're not even, they're like black and blue, you know? <laughs> and Barry, you got some crazy parts lined up for this machine. Legitimate parts that he's going to show you how to program them, how to set them up, and how to run them efficiently. Not just run them on YouTube, but no matter where you work, we're going to show you how to run them so efficient that you take those speeds and feeds and tools and apply them to your own processes. It's going to be crazy. For your education. Boom, baby. And real quick, we have a video coming out in a couple of days on the HF 5500. 1,600 inches per minute going crazy on this big old EV gear housing. That video is literally going to blow your mind. Boom.